she was going to be on the last, she would have died this week. But she lives. She, lives she got rid of the cancer. The cancer's gone. Yeah. Not healed. She, the cancer's gone. Thank you. Okay. And her husband was born deaf. And he got his hearing. Okay, so no. You're going to get what you ask for. God said, you shall receive what you say. Okay. And don't be afraid for them, okay? If you believe that God exists in you, okay, then you can depend on him. He's going to take care of you. That's what he said. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. We may leave him and forsake him, but he won't. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what, are they coming, your brothers, or mm -hmm. just you? Just me. There are four people. Well, one's in the hospital and the other one came to me in the room. Okay, uh, which hospital are they in? Um, the regional in the ICU. Oh, my no people? Mm, some of them are in front of us. Yeah. Or Jackson. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, we can go see him. Okay. If they're open. If they're open to receive. Are they open to receive? No, I said I could. They said they did. The doctors told us they didn't want nobody, just the immediate family. But if you would like to go, I I can. Talk it, to no, they don't have the right to tell you that. You have to. You mm -hmm. tell them. You tell them no. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have here whoever I want here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're that. You're the authority, not them. Okay? You have to understand that you are, you are the authority. What are they doing? Just waiting for him to die? Why can't you, if, you, if the guy's going to die, why aren't you letting other people come in? I, I help him. Well, they're saying that because when he, he can hear. So when people talk to him, his blood pressure goes up. And somebody can have, have to get a cough or has a cough or something, and they're afraid that he can get it. And he's really weak. He's very weak. Are they assuring him he's going to live? <coughs> see, they don't commit themselves, see? No, you'll be all right. Just be, Amen. You will be all right. Okay? And then he has his son, which I'm going to cry. He never came around to see my brother. I never. Two years ago, he came, brought his little suitcase, and started living with me. The son, the only son. And he has a very good job, but doesn't want to doesn't want to put anything to us to help, like grocery pay bills. Or doesn't want to commit anything. No. But this morning he threw my daughter and I out of the house. He says the house is his. He's gonna do whatever he wants, and he wants to know where the car keys are. He, my brother has five cars, and he says everything is mine. So both of you out of my house. <coughs> no, you don't worry about that. Okay. So. What is? I mean. Is this the one that has the back problem? Which one? Heart disease one? Okay. You'll be all right, so don't worry. Okay? <coughs> In fact, tomorrow we're we'll done. No, tomorrow's Friday. Mm -hmm. Saturday we can go. Yeah. We, we can go Saturday. Saturday. If that's, make up, make <coughs> arrangements for us to come Saturday. Okay? And now, because I... God it just gave another man a new heart. <coughs> so you can give him a new heart. Okay? No, think, <coughs> believe that he's got I, God I, is going to be there. I am believing, and I, and I know that God is going to be there. He's going to yeah. be with us. Now, what is wrong with you, though? <coughs> um, multiple things. I went through breast cancer. Now I went to see the doctor, and they found out that I have a stub. So. There's a mass on my right lung, a uh, lesion on my liver, a mass on my right rib, a hernia. Okay. Okay. No, we're gonna get rid of all that. Get rid. Get rid of it. We're gonna get rid of all of that. Continue. No. I believe. No, I know not a big deal. We do this all over the world. We're not just here in San Jose. We, we just we came back from Fiji. 
Yeah, we travel a lot. We went to her. She comes from Peru. We have been to Peru. We've been all over the world. Now we want to go to India. <coughs> stay, stay positive and faithful and believe, and you'll you'll have it. If you want to get healed, right? <coughs> and then there it is. God says you shall have what you say. I I say I want to get healed. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, and you will. It, it, with us, it's not a guessing game. We we do it. Well, I've already raised thirty some people from the dead. That one right there died. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. July two thousand fifteen. Thank you, guys. <laughs> See, that's about as bad as you can get, huh? When you're done, when you're gone. <clears throat> And I wasn't even in town. She, they had to call me to come back in. When I came back to her house, she, yeah, she was dead. And God says, get her up. So I said, okay. In a matter of minutes, she was up. Mm-hmm. What do we call that? A Resurrection. Miracle? It's all miracles. It's a miracle. We can't do it. Right? Mm-hmm. He can, though. He's mm-hmm. working through you. See? Mm-hmm. He can do it. Amen. That's John 14, 12. It says, you will be able to do everything I did and greater things will you do. See, he's already telling you. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is believe it, receive it, and walk it out. That's all. See? And just what you're doing now. See, that's what you're doing right now. Amen. Mm-hmm. He's, he's assuring you, you're going to have it. Mm-hmm. So, no, don't. Don't even entertain <coughs> the fact that you might be having, you might die. No. Mm, it might be a fact, but it's not the truth. Because God, God comes in with the truth. It is so true. You no? Know? So we kind of get away from things for a long time and we don't, we forget what God has said and the promises that he's given us. And so we live in this vacuum with what the world is telling you what you should do and none of it works. Mm-hmm. They give you a pill that never works. It costs you $43,000 for the pill. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they don't make it like them. They're not assuring him anything. Yeah. Right? See? But they want to make all the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't assure me I'm going to live and I'm with you right now. You're just called a doctor. And you're not going to tell me what to do. See? The patient has the right, and the people, the family of the patient, have the right to say, <coughs> not them. You're blood sister. Hallelujah. See? Mm-hmm. Now you're the one that has what? Authority. You're the one, only one that has the authority to say right now, you're at the top of the list. No, his son doesn't think it. No. Oh, no. Doesn't matter what his son does. See, right now we're going to have his father come back. We're going to heal him, and his father will take care of that. <coughs> now you know what his fa- his son's intent is. See, and he's seeing it now. You're going to see. He never came back. And he came back and took over, and threw people out. See, he was the opposite of his dad. Amen. Mm-hmm. See, yes, he's a taker. He's not a giver. Uh, yesterday, I heard my, I don't know, he said, I want to go see my father, but I don't want nobody there. I want to be able just to sit there and see my father. And then my do- and then he comes to the house with me and says, and I want both of you out of this house. It's mine. Everything in it is mine. And my daughter and I just, what are we going to do? My brother has wanted us there with him for all these years. But see, yeah. he's not going to die. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. <coughs> he's going to believe for that. Then he can come back to his own house. <coughs> Nobody's going to tell him. His son is not going to tell him what to do. Now, he has to write his will. Mm-hmm. Your brother does. Because if any accidents happen, it tells who's the one who's in charge. Then the law takes over and he can't kick you out. See? Mm-hmm. But God is going to make a way for you right now where yes, there is no way. Agree. Amen. It feels like there's no way out. No, don't worry about it. Okay? So, what do you do for a living? I work at a, a Citadel Middle School, and 
no duty supervisor for oh. four hours. Okay. Okay. You know, and your daughter? She works with a doctor. Okay. Your body's completely out of, out of alignment. Look at the arms. It tells you your body's out of alignment. That affects all your muscles, tendons, ligaments, your bladder, your kidneys, all of it. That right there affects all of that. Watch how quickly God does it. Watch how he aligns your body. Father God, in the name of Jesus and with the power of the Spirit, I command the left arm to grow. Look at it now. <laughs> Showing you nothing's gonna happen to you. Amen. Okay, nothing's gonna happen to you. Okay. When you come to us, all of it is gonna be cleared out. So don't worry. Just believe. Okay? Mm -hmm. That was cleared out in that instant. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Now sit down over here. Let's sit down like that. Now make sure your bottom's all the way to the back. Your back is touching all the way, all the way. Even more so. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you see, this is the side you have your kidneys in it. This is the side you have your liver. Right? Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Look at the difference. Yeah, well, if you go to a chiropractor, they only allow you one eighth of an inch in difference. Look at you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch. Father God, in the name of Jesus and with the power of the Spirit, I lose the pelvis, I lose the knees, and I lose the ankles. And I command the right leg to grow now in the name of Jesus. And I command this body to be completely aligned and adjusted immediately for everything to be in its place again. Look at. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Amen. Done. Say it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, now come on. Because faith without works in there. I want you to get up. Touch your toes. Now, do it. Just do it fast. Touch them. Touch them. Go down and touch them. Oh, touch them. I thought because sometimes I can't even move. No. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I see. They don't hurt. No. <laughs> it won't hurt. No. <clears throat> before I couldn't even go. That's why I was going like this because before I couldn't even do this. No, yeah. if you, you touch Lord. your liver right now, it's not going to hurt either. No, I don't have that swell. I don't feel the swelling. It's that gone. Like, that, that like no, it's no. gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That fast is gone. Mm -hmm. Jesus, all you have to do, all we have to do is speak to you or yeah. just touch you and it, it leaves. Now, touch that side. There's still a little, a tiny bit of soreness, but I have it for Father God, in the, no. in the name of Jesus, and with the power of the Spirit, I command that that organ be healed. All, all weaknesses leave it, all pain leave it, Amen. in the name of Jesus. And I command now for it to fall in the perfect position. There it comes, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing her. Yes. Thank you that it yes. all is, yes. it's all healed now. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, amen. move it. Move it. <coughs> Move it. Just move your leg. No, don't think about it. We just do what I tell you. Thank you, Jesus. Pick it up. Thank you, Jesus. No, it's, it's Hi, hi, no. Amen. See, I want you to test it all the way. So <laughs> yeah, it's gone. gone. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. It is gone. It is yeah. gone. Yes. You know, but you live for so many years with the fear that, oh, it hurts. And all oh, this hurts. And Nothing. You can't. It's gone. And then you try to do it and you don't believe at the minute that it's not there. But now I know that it's... Amen. Amen. Not, That's not how fast your brother's going to get his. Yes. yes. Amen. See? Mm -hmm. See, the lady that we just healed from <clears throat> Modesto, she had cancer. She was ready to die. She was ready <coughs> to die. This week would have been her last week. She had had it for five years. You know? Instantly she got healed. I didn't even, I didn't even get up from my chair. All I said is, you're healed. And instantly, I am. I said, "Yes, stand." <laughs> it was gone. 
This week we're going to be with her mother. We're going to Alameda, Oakland, San Oakland. Okay, seven. Okay. Because they all got healed. Like I told you, her husband was born deaf. Mm -hmm. Born deaf, not lost his hearing. He was born deaf for the first time he heard. Yes. Now God is here to do it all for you, for all of the other Christians. It's your time now. Okay? It's people's, now they've been praying and doing all that for all these years. Now it's their time to receive. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. You just got it. <coughs> See? Yes, no, it's over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. I, I felt the, the, I felt like when you said the liver and that, I felt like something just came yes, out. Yes. And that's why I went. Yeah, I, I know. Went, you noticed that? Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. wonderful. Yeah, we rejoice with you. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Like, I'm taking yes. it away from you. Yes. And so I felt it. I felt that. It's gone, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a lump. Yeah. No, you don't have that. It's, it's I don't have a lump. That's the that's Okay, the now, yes. symptoms are going to come back at you. They're not real. It's Satan testing you. Okay. Okay? Okay? No, you say, no, my, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. And nothing is going to take my healing away from me. Okay? Excuse me, please. Because Jesus was tested the same way. Okay, no, you're you're already healed and you're going to stay healed. When we heal you, it's an eternal healing and you'll never lose it. Ever. And remember that. No, I got an eternal healing. So, and you say it. Okay? Just make your confession known. Okay, and say it. No, I'm healed and I'm going to stay healed. And no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then... Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you see how quickly God is now going to take care of his people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, no. <coughs> when you agree, you're looking, nobody's going to kick you out of that house, so don't worry about it. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. My daughter and I were already looking for a place because we didn't want to, we didn't know. Okay. Uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you now to open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that they won't even understand and bring them a house immediately Lord, mm -hmm. for them so they don't have to depend on nobody else mm -hmm. bring her the money to pay for it and everything she's going to need you so you told us the cross has taken care of it and it has in the name of jesus thank you lord for doing this for her and her daughter they now have a new home in jesus name amen, amen. 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 <coughs> See? Mm -hmm. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're more than welcome. More than more than welcome. Oh, we nice rejoice you. with you. We rejoice with you. We love that. We love mm -hmm. it. We love you. We love you. We see the people heal. Amen. It. Okay, oh, look, see her? Yes. She had brain cancer. Yes. I and she had a uterine cancer at the same yes, time. I got healing years ago. 40 years ago, so it's not going anywhere. Yes. You're not, it's not coming back. No wonder I had an attachment to her when I walked in. Yeah. <laughs> and you saw that one died. Yeah. She had breast cancer. <coughs> yeah. Do you have any kind of pain on you now or where? One is right here and the other one is right here. Your liver? Mm -hmm. And then I think it's my colon. Yeah, or your bladder or any of that is in that area. But mostly this one is the one that hurts more. And since last night when you yelled at my daughter and I, I my blood pressure went to 160. The first time it was 164. And then it went down to 162 and then 160. That's your normal? Mm -hmm. No, mine's 127, 128. Oh, it should be way up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, don't let him affect you. Okay, don't let him affect you. <clears throat> God says take dominion and subdue all things on this earth, including him. Okay, you, you take dominion. You say, no, you're not going to affect me. Okay. You're not, you know, you're the, one, you're the one that's supposed to be strong. You're God's child. Amen. Okay. And you have that power, God. Watch. Get up. <clears throat> Bring
bring it here and we'll that all go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I got. With God, all things are possible. We told yeah. you. Yeah. Excuse me. So get her here. The quicker she gets here, the quicker she gets rid of it. Okay. You can. In fact, I teach tonight. And what you, time is that? It's seven thirty. They're gonna. They'll give you a card, and they give you. Okay. It has the address. It has phone numbers. It has everything on it. Okay. Bring her there. Amen. Okay, tonight, and she'll get rid of it tonight. Okay. She's gonna see you, and she's gonna know. Mm -hmm. See. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good. So this is all the prayer packets of the ministry. Mm -hmm. So all of this is directly from God. And so when you pray them, you have to speak it out. Because when you speak it out, it hits the air and it becomes prophecy. Yes, and the very first one is actually a letter from Jesus himself. That day, Eli was the secretary and he wrote this for you. So go ahead and please read that letter. When you are coming home, I have been waiting for you to to come home since you left me. It hasn't been easy living without you. You're my sons and daughters. It isn't the same, not being able to be with you, eat, touch, or sit you on my lap and comfort you until you fall asleep in my heart. I am sorry I've been suffering spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, financially on this journey home to me. Don't you know that I have received you all because I created you all? I have loved you all, and I will always love you all. I am looking forward in the day when you will, will all receive me, and we can spend eternity together. But in the meantime, fear not, for I am with you always. And I have promised you I have never left you nor forsaken you. So always be a good cheer, for my love for you will never be replaced. The love that is in me is in you and it will never fail you. Now, how can it? For I am love, and you know I have conquered all for you. Since that day, all the promises are yours. Say then, reach out and take them for yourself. I am the Father, Lord, God, believe in me, as I have believed in you, and you shall believe the things that you have asked for. Ask, seek, and knock for the faith and grace. Soon we will start everything anew and spend eternity together. That will be so much fun for us all. You will, you will meet the rest of the family then. I want to thank you for having patience with me, believe me, for doing this for me. Your gifts for me, to me, to you, will make you forget all the time. You thought I had abandoned a prayer to me, but to a good cheer. Remember, it is finished. Now let me serve you. I'll show you what it's like in heaven here on earth by faith and grace. You don't have to die to experience heaven on earth. Heaven is in you and I am it. <coughs> I have set beside before you life and death. Choose life, for I have set you free from sin and death. Receive this word so that you finish your purpose victoriously in peace and joy. Yeah, says God. Amen. Amen. See, you already forgotten now all the all the misery you were going through. You got healed. Because he was here, see? How quickly it's gone? Yes. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is for me to keep her. That's yours. That's yours. Yes. Yes. And Beautiful. if you ever have any questions, feel free to give him a call. He is available 24 7. Mm -hmm. There's his card. That's his mm -hmm. number right there. This is his web TV. That's the number right there. And this is where we have our study group Thursday nights at 7 p.m. and Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. at my drive. Where is... Uh, Off of Hellier Avenue. What about... If you go Avenue? straight up Branham. Okay. Go all the way up Branham. Okay. And turn left on... What is it? I know that area. That's by the school. Yeah. 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 So <coughs> the school by Caroline Davis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm.